recording. Welcome to the Kotakami Podcast. Is that what we're doing? Are we gonna gonna beatbox? I'm your host, Thad. I'm your other host, Eddie. I'm just here for the snacks, Cooper. This might be too low. I don't know if it will <laughs> really work. Is, Nobody will even hear creepy. this. Yeah, they're gonna turn it way up, and we're gonna start talking and blow up the speakers. All right, what are we doing? Yeah, is but it? that's because we work for the speaker industry. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. Speakers are our game. We've all, blown yours. All the spe- all speakers. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't all matter what you speakers. Have. Every yeah. brand. You, them, you buy them. <laughs> you blow them, you buy them. No, we blow them, you buy them. <laughs> we blow them, you buy them. Speaker Co. That's the way. I guess that's the intro. I guess that's what we're doing. You got to make money somehow. Mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> Don't drink next to the mic. But Dr. Pepper. That's not even a Dr. Pepper <laughs> I'm drinking. I wish we were sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Oh, I do yeah. love the taste of a cold Dr. Pepper. Why do we talk about... Fake sponsorship every podcast. Because we haven't gotten sponsored yet. That's the way to do it, huh? Yeah. Sponsored by Cola. Sponsored by? Generic brand Cola. Sponsored Whatever by cola dark syrup. You, yeah, you want us to be drinking. Uh, what were what, what, what we talking about this week? Oh, another guys, another big cola. You guys are terrible. Another big gold. I can hear your bottles opening. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear that? Yeah, I can hear of course. I'm screwing. I can hear you drinking and you swallowing. You're probably hearing that oh, you too. You can definitely mics. hear me drinking and swallowing. I drink and swallow loud. <laughs> can we start over the podcast? Do we want to start this over the podcast? So <laughs> <laughs> okay, we restarted. Ow! <laughs> Did they hear the beep? No, not if you cut it out. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta cut it That's out. That's a now. slate. Now you're making me do work. I have a slate. I got a slate button. It's pretty sweet. Oh, it hurts my head. Hole. Uh, what? So, do we want to do a real intro since we reslated? Oh, you're looking at me. If we're if you're looking at me, I'm just gonna do the. Hey, what's up, everybody? No, oh, God, God, don't no. do that. <laughs> Okay, then. Give me a beat. Uh. Uh, that's not a beat. I don't even know what that is. No. It was almost you, a beat. No, go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. Give, give him something, too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We got to build a beat. Sounds like, a, <laughs> sounds like a, a, a horse. <laughs> a horse eating grass and shitting itself. <laughs> it's just horsing around. Welcome to the Good Alchemy Podcast. I'm, I'm Cooper. I'm Thad. I'm Addy. And we are good alchemy. We're horsing around. Where is Taylor? We're down one member. Uh, well, I thought he was going to be here on this time. I know. We well, we text and we didn't. <laughs> this is going to be our uh, like on Jimmy Kimmel when he never has on Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh. Taylor's just never going to be on it. Oh, yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. He'll be here eventually. Maybe. Probably. We'll Hopefully. Get We're gonna yeah. get you. <laughs> one thing about good alchemy. We're, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. All right. Yeah. Hot topic of the week. What's hot? Hot. What's hot? hot? I'll tell you. Hot what's topic. Hot. Do you get a new black shirt? Thanksgiving. Thanks, yeah, I mean, I hey, guess. Thanksgiving is coming up. I it's mean, the week of Thanksgiving. This is the Thanksgiving podcast. Yeah, this is, yeah you're right. Happy you, Thanksgiving, happy everybody. Thanksgiving. We're, yeah. we're, gobble, gobble. We're feasting on Cheez-Its and Coca-Cola right now. Yes. Uh, Don't you mean cheese crackers and yeah, dark gin, soda? Yeah, and dark soda. That's what I said. Can't sponsored say, by cheese crackers and dark soda. You can't say the names. Yeah, because we're not sponsored by them yet. They're going to sue us. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have been playing a lot of Pokemon. Yeah. I'm just going to dive into I know, you're, it. I was diving into Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, this, I mean, this is the Thanksgiving podcast. Everything is Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's true. It's Souls Giving, too. It's Soul, so, don't forgot. forget about Souls Giving. Pokemon's Blood Giving. giving. We you, talked about that last you go, time. Yeah, Pokey Giving. Pokey sure. Giving. Blood uh, Giving. Souls Blood giving. giving. Yeah, give everything. Just give it all. Just give it all. Give it your all on Thanksgiving. That should be the, yeah. the slogan. I know, but it's not. I said it's like, uh, go out and buy cheap shit. Have any of you seen deals on any cheap shit? I haven't. There already been haven't deals been looking. Out? I don't care. Uh, I'm waiting on Titanfall 2. Is gonna, I think that's gonna probably going to be deals. cheap. Yeah. They've already, it's already been pretty cheap because mm-hmm. they kind of messed up their release. Oh, what happened? I didn't even know. They hear. released a week after Battlefield 1. <laughs> you call that a mess up? Yeah, that's <laughs> awful. It's kind of a, a goofy. That killed their sales. Yeah. And but, it's the same company. That's the weird thing about it. But what did, like... So they don't care. Maybe they assumed that Titanfall was just going to do better than Battlefield. Like people. Why would be... you ever assume that? Battlefield is one of their most popular titles. Oh, is it? I don't know. Whereas Titanfall 1 had pretty like a pretty shitty lifetime. Yeah, well, it, it was, was only really on strong at first. Yeah. yeah. It just dropped off, which but is such a huge bummer because I really like that game. There was no depth to the multiplayer. No, so. no. And then they added single player. Yeah, they're supposed to be good. 
Hopefully, yeah. I haven't played I, it. I haven't, yeah. I I haven't seen anything I'm, for it. Yeah. Which is, that's the weird thing to me is that a lot of people complain that it didn't have single player. Yeah. And I don't believe that's why it didn't do well. I think no, it's no. just because the multiplayer wasn't, didn't have much to like dive into. Mm -hmm. Because Battlefield hasn't had a good single player since Battlefield 2. Apparently the new one, Battlefield 1 single player is, I haven't played it, but it's supposed to be good. I tried it. I couldn't get into it. Not that good. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the I, mean first, I don't care. I, I got it for multiplayer. Yeah. So that's I what, don't really care about it. That's but all I, I wanted. But because the only levels I was playing the first few levels and you start out in a tank and that's a lot of fun. And then it's like, okay, get out of your tank and walk ahead of the tank and kill everybody by yourself. It's for like, like leaving the tank. You saw me playing those yeah, levels. Yeah, that didn't look fun. It was so boring. Didn't look fun. Like, I just had to sneak around and try and like pick off some people before they noticed. And then I just had to blind fire until I killed them all. Yeah, like that game, if I were to play the single player, I'd probably, the whole time, probably be thinking, why am I not just playing multiplayer? Yeah, that's you don't buy Battlefield for single player. No. Yeah, And it doesn't work anything like the multiplayer, which is what made Battlefield 2 single player so much fun. It's, yeah, you could hop around from person was, to person. It was a giant combat field, and you could just hop to whichever side of the front you wanted to push, depending on your objective at the time. Yeah. yeah. Made it a lot of Battlefield fun. Battlefield 2 had a lot of good stuff going for it. Yeah, it was a really good game. I liked that one a lot. I only play the new one. Yeah. Well, it's the first one. Oh, that's right, Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1. It's weird they waited until 4 right. to make 1. I wish companies would get better with naming things. Oh, yeah. It's getting real weird <laughs> it's getting and so, bad. And, yeah. Like, Xbox 1. Okay, but it's the third one. Yeah. What? Like, Sony's got it. Yeah. PlayStation. But PlayStation then the second one, one was two. Xbox 360. 360, I guess, was okay because it's like, oh, it's an interesting name, 360. Sure. If they yeah. were done like xbox like infinity like that one was rumored yeah. around yeah i was like oh i wouldn't be that's surprised. kind of a cool name yeah i was fine with them not doing like a traditional naming convention but once they went to xbox one like, you guys are idiots right i'm i'm not saying it has to be yeah it has to be what sony's doing in order just do something interesting like i mean nintendo like calling it a wii like the yeah. wii's a funny name or whatever but at least it's a something name. different yeah it's it's oh, fine but then they got into weird stuff too it's where it's like the wii u the wii u so well, well, not there's the also wii u, a wii plus and there's like yeah yeah it's that's like, where they messed up that is like uh whatever the thing that really gets me is the nintendo 3ds yeah and then the new was it last nintendo year or two 3DS? years ago the, the new, new nintendo 3DS? 3ds i was like, like whoa okay i yeah. love your handhelds and i bought it but yeah call it some don't call it the that's, new nintendo that's so weird yeah call it the 4ds because what happens when there you go yeah that's what yeah. they should have called. No, because no, it still plays a 3DS games, but like, I, I don't know. And now Xbox is doing their like S thing, and I don't know if that's the appropriate answer. The weird thing when you're about doing like an in between model. The, well, that's what like iPhone does. I know that's, that's what Apple weird. does. It's yeah, like it's iPhone like, like seven, then iPhone seven S, then iPhone eight, or whatever you know, Xbox what been doing. One S. So it's like Xbox One, Xbox One S, and then we'll get the Xbox Two in a, in yeah. a few years. And that, but then <laughs> Sony's like 4.5, right? That's what they're just calling it, is aren't they? Or is it just something? Are they just calling it PlayStation you know, I Four? I think it. Was, I don't remember because I remember at first I think it was four point five. Yeah, but then I thought I saw something that was like four plus. Maybe it is four plus. That's Which I don't want. I haven't, to yeah, do I haven't that. seen that. I can look that up and see. I don't know. I don't know. Four plus. What? Yeah. What is the new? They should have just called it the, the PlayStation. It's the four K. Yeah, they yeah. should just call it the PS four K. Yeah, PS four K would have made a lot more there sense. There you go. Except, is it really actually, going to be that would have been the perfect name? Yeah, because that was like the big update was like bigger drive uh, and then the 4K. It, it wouldn't have been a problem like the Wii U because it's still compatible with all the games. It's the same console. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's not called the Pro. PS4 Pro. Pro, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. I think maybe it's I was still, thinking 4.5 because that's what like media was just writing it as before yeah. they released the name. Well, I Googled 4.5 and like it came up with a bunch of results yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but the PS4K, pro, that was, yeah. someone's kicking themselves for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's PS4K. a missed opportunity. That's Definitely. a good one. But at least I feel like the PS4 Pro still makes me understand that it's a newer console. Yeah. Like I don't like middle consoles. No, I don't know why we no. do that. I mean, Nintendo's done it kind of forever, but uh, I don't know why these other people are just now hopping on board with it. it it's not. It's not good. Actually... I don't want to like jump off that real uh, fast, but have happened? we talked about Nintendo Switch yet? No, I don't think we have. No, talked yeah. about that is something Switch. that I am very jazzed about. That's actually yeah. the first time I've been excited about a Nintendo thing for a while. Well, yeah. I, I love their handhelds. Yeah, and like, uh, I, I don't, I don't think I've ever owned like a, a home console for Nintendo. Like when I was living with my parents, like growing up, mm -hmm. we would have like a GameCube or the N sixty four. That was like yeah, yeah. the whole family would play on. But then I moved out of my parents. I haven't bought one until recently. I got the Wii U. Yeah. Basically, a friend was getting rid of it, so yeah. I took it. Um, but when I saw the Nintendo Switch, that was like what you just said, Coop. The first time 
where I was like, I need to buy this Nintendo yeah, console. Yeah. It looks really, really fun. Yeah. I think it's going to be really good. And unfortunately, I just bought an NVIDIA Shield tablet, and yeah. NVIDIA is like making their thing. So right. it's probably going to be the same. Well, it's okay. not it going to play PC games. They've already confirmed. No, that. no, it won't be. But I mean, like, as far as like functionality goes, I expect it to have a bunch of tablet features on it, like I would be using now. Do you think that it'll, I mean, I don't think it's like, going to. I don't know that it's going to have, have a like, web browser, which is what I want. And well, I, yeah, but on the go. And uh, well, people have always hacked Nintendo stuff too. Yeah, I expect true. it to be running like Linux in like day two or something. Because I was wondering, I don't know that it's going to have like a Kindle app or something. That's well, I mean, that's where the hacks will? come in. I think people oh, I are see. going when yeah. they, they get it and they're like, this is a tablet and it doesn't do any tablet stuff they're going to just hack it immediately see i almost don't view it as a tablet though it's just like it's their new it's their it's nintendo's like handheld and home console just together it's I like know. you're playing at home and yeah. then you go oh i gotta go and then you just hop in your car and you just switch yeah there you go mm -hmm. and now you're playing on the go yeah it's good although I've, i have heard like i've got some reservations about it yeah battery life wait. i've heard it's only got like three hours of actual play time or four well, hours Well, nobody knows it's just speculation because yeah. if you look at any other handheld mm -hmm. nothing has the graphics that they're right no they're claiming it has and it would have to have the big, like, half of that thing you're holding would have to be a battery for it to last more than two yeah. hours. I mean, it is pretty big. Uh, but this little tablet, my shield that I have, doesn't last a long time either. It lasts no. about three or four hours. But you, a, but you can turn down the graphics on that thing. Yeah, well, on certain games, yeah. yeah. I also, also, like, I'd be okay. I mean, yeah, obviously you want it to run forever, but, like, I don't know. In my life, I don't really, I'm not in a situation where I want to be playing, except for on a plane. Yeah. Where do you want to play like a hardcore game for more than three hours and you're not sitting down being able to just play the, it in. the home yeah. console version? Well, really, plane rides is the only reason I want it because I don't ever have time to play games on the go if unless I'm on a plane. Yeah. yeah. And but how, and how often are you on planes? We're, well, I mean, we fly a decent amount, but we don't fly a lot either. It's been like once a month now. Once a month? Yeah, but how long are your flights? Not terribly long. It's about four hours. There you go. So no, you so have one hour to battery, sleep yeah. and three hours to play the game. Or, if that's what it is. Yeah, this if is that's all what it is. Rumors. Yeah. Well, but also, I'm sure you can get a battery pack, yeah, or like something like that. That's more stuff you got to carry around. Well, you're, uh, yeah, but I mean, gonna you're going to have a case for this thing. You're not just going to carry just that by itself. Yeah, it's going to be in a little bag. So you throw the a charger, a battery, and you're you're good. I just I feel like it's definitely the way they showed it in that commercial where mm -hmm. it had the same graphics on the tablet as it did mm -hmm. on the yeah. screen. I feel like that's not going to happen. Yeah, maybe know? that will be have to be. And I'm yeah, I'm down, perfectly. But I think it's still going to be pretty good. I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm fine yeah. with downgrading the graphics to have longer battery. Life. I think it's still going to be. They've said really. Good. I, I'm pretty sure they said that it isn't. It's going to be the same on TV as it is. On that's the, the problem. Yeah. If that happens, that's going to kill the battery. Yeah. I'm absolutely. Okay with it. I, I, mean, I mean, I'll how, play with yeah. it on the go, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to be doing it nearly as much as I am just going to be playing it at home. Yeah. And I'm going to get it, like, even if, like, you know, if they confirm batteries, two hours, whatever, mm -hmm. it's like, I don't care. I really want that console, like, because I also want the new Zelda. Yeah. Uh, crap, what's that called? Uh, Wind Waker? Wind of no, the, Wind, what, uh, what was it called? I don't remember. Something of the Wild. Wild. Is, wild. is that game going to come out Wind on the, the Wii U? Yeah, it's coming out for both. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be, like, the when the, the one Princess. came out for the, yeah, Twilight Princess one. That came out on GameCube and Wii. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, that game looks really cool. Like at E3 when they were showing all those demos, yeah, that game looks really, really good. I mean, they got Link doing some weird that stuff. Means, like he gets cold and he shivers. I and like put that on, like, though. I like warmer clothes. I like something. going to Climat and Do having we use the effect. The only game that didn't get its own Zelda. Well, the, the only console. No, it got Skyward Sword, didn't it? Or was that, that was Wii. Wii? That was. Oh wow. Yeah, was this was. The, yeah, mm. this was. I think the only one. I mean, it's going to get it, but yeah, it didn't get its own. Yeah, they, yeah. they plan on doing it on this one, and then I think it just kept getting pushed. Yeah, and like pushed. if you think yeah. of every Nintendo console ever, they've all had an exclusive Zelda, Zelda game. Well, I think yeah. this is the longest gap between a Zelda game. Yeah. Is where right now. So, yeah. Oh, and man. the Wii U didn't yeah. live quite as long as a normal console does. No. So, I think they set those it up factors. To fail. I think oh. those factors are yeah, yeah. why it didn't get its own. But it, there is there is one coming out for it. Yeah. How long does the battery last on uh, the 3DS? It's like three or four hours, isn't it? It's not that long. Or is it a little bit than longer that. than that? Is it like five or six? I feel six? like it lasts quite a while. Hmm. When it, my, my 3DS, I felt like, lasted about five or six hours. Okay. Yeah, I feel like mine lasts a while. Hmm. I never used the 3D on it, though. I don't yeah. know how long it lasts when you use that. I mean, it eats up more. And then having, like, the Wi-Fi on and stuff eats up more than that. Yeah. Like, I feel like mine only lasts, like, four or five hours with the Wi-Fi on and 3D turned on. I don't know. I feel like mine's maybe Maybe mine's it's more. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it always lasts my... Flights or whatever. And I, yeah, my yeah, flights are longer than you guys. I fly for like <coughs> six hours. Usually 
But I don't use the... I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it lasts fine. I'm just... The Nintendo Switch, I was really excited for. I was, like, the biggest... I mean, because, like, the new Nintendo 3DS, it was, like... It, I was excited for it. It was cool, and I got it right away. But it wasn't, like, a huge improvement from the normal 3DS. Like, it wasn't, like, as drastic of a change. Like, Nintendo Switch, I mean... The only thing they're switching things up here. The main thing that it makes me worry about is if they're going to stop having two. If like maybe this is their push to stop developing a console and a handheld. I think and yeah, that's, just I don't one. think they're going to have uh, handhelds anymore. I would much rather have a better 3DS than just a console that can be handheld for a couple hours. I mean, we'll see. I, I hope they don't stop making the handhelds too, because their handhelds yeah. have always been so cool. Yeah. So I'm looking it up now, and the 3DS XL had 3 to 5.5 hours of 3DS gaming, and the new Nintendo 3DS has 3.5 to 7 hours of gaming life. So there you go, 7 uh, hours. 7 hours, that's a pretty high cap. Does that have any sure. like difference between if you use the 3D or not? Uh, no, it just says... Uh, like Maybe the high is without... Using yeah, the 3D, I think yeah. like if you turn the 3D off, you probably have a, like, a longer sort yeah, of play time. Sense. I think games like Smash Bros. probably drain battery faster. I don't know what like the new Pokemon does though. I since mean, it I seems mostly like play it... Animal Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, but I turn I play that with the 3D less. on. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But that probably just did they did Stardew Valley come out for the DS? I don't know. I, I was it supposed to? I, I have no idea. I would yeah. love to get that on the DS. I, don't know. Like I would go buy. I well, I own a DS. My yeah. brother has it. I would take it back from him <laughs> if that game's on the 3DS. Yeah. Oh. That'd be a good yeah, game on the 3DS. Yeah. But I don't know. I love that game. It would be a good game to play. Animal Crossing, though. Animal Crossing. Just keep playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, you, we talked about Animal Crossing last week. We talked about it this week. It's just like an animal. It's a yearly event. It's the season. Yeah, it's always a seasonal Crossing. game. Because you want to play during the holidays. Yeah. 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 What's after uh, Christmas? What holiday is the next holiday? New Year's. <laughs> after New Year's, then. Okay, what's the next holiday after New Year's? Easter. Mm-hmm. Mother's is Easter. Yeah. Easter, Mother's, Mother's Day. Easter. Mother's Easter. Mother's Easter. Mother's Easter. <laughs> Mother's Easter. <laughs> when Mother lays eggs. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Dude. Uh, yeah, Easter, but that's not till April. Is that yeah. the next holiday? Don't know. Must be. Yeah. yeah. There's something in February, isn't there? Well, Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day. There you go. Mm, yeah. But I, I was assuming you meant like... Just like for playing like the game when, get, when there are like Oh, I think you meant like game. when we get like days off of work and stuff. Well, I mean... I you don't get off for Valentine's Day? I don't know. There's no, there's no game around Easter where I'm like, man, I gotta go play this. I don't this. know, but maybe in, I've never been on an Easter. Do you have to go collect eggs? Oh, I'm make sure sense. there's things yeah. for, for Animal Crossing. Yeah. yeah. Animal Crossing is something for everything. That would be so awesome if the devs of Dark Souls hid Easter eggs all throughout the world around <laughs> Easter. I would dive into that game. Or even so just hard like the glowing little Easter gems eggs. or something. Yeah. I they should do, do something for Souls Giving. Like, they should release a patch for Thanksgiving. I don't, I don't know what it would be. Yeah. Maybe like they all like, the bosses are giant turkeys or something. Or like, maybe they hide <laughs> eggs places, and when you go grab it, it teleports you into a random boss fight that you're not ready for. And if you kill yeah. it, you get something cool. Sure. Yeah. Like rabbit ears. Yeah. I'd be, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rabbit ears helmet. Yeah. Increases your uh, I mean, because everyone's your speed. Yeah. Everyone online knows Souls Giving. Yeah. Souls Giving is so great. Like, yeah. It's from when Souls. Everybody gets together. Yeah. You, you got to play the old Souls games. I mean, I'll probably be playing some Dark Souls, maybe. I don't know. Depends on who's on, what's yeah, going I on. I feel like I might jump in and you get thinking about Bloodborne. Bloodborne yeah. Thinking Ganked Bloodborne. by all the twinks. That's pretty much what you yeah, need to do. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. You want to get ganked by those twinks. <laughs> <laughs> no? You, I just want to play Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get ganked by You're twinks. Get, you can't get ganked by the twinks in there. That's, Not in doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. There's Gear doesn't level. Huh? Gear doesn't level. So when you're fighting someone, when they come into your world, they're the same relative level as you are. Oh, okay. And it also takes your weapon gear into account, like Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure. It does. Mm. It does? Yes. Yeah, so yes. you can't, like, really... There's no ganking. You fight on even terms, which yeah. is fun. Which is, it's good. in it's my better. opinion, better. Yeah, that definitely makes I'd sense. I'd like if there were zones to where you could go, though, that's like, this is a zone where well, all bets are what, off. But that's all that is going to be happening there. But Dark Souls yeah. 3, isn't that what the new patch was? In addition to the is DLC? Is it all, all bets are off the, uh, arena? There's an arena. Oh. And I thought that was... There's an arena now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's part that of the patch. They added that arena in Dark Souls 1, and it never worked. No, it was still broken. Because their net code was broken. Yeah. No, I, I think, mean, you could never get into a game after, like, the first week. Yeah. I haven't done it. I just did, like, the actual DLC I, I played it, like, area. once, and then after that, anytime I wanted to fight, I just fought outside the arena. Yeah. Well, you That's and I used fought, it yeah. to fight each other a couple times, yeah. just messing around. Yeah, we 
got it working or whatever. But yeah, it would never really work. So maybe this one. I haven't tried it on Dark Souls three. I haven't tried it. <laughs> Have you even beaten the DLC? I haven't beaten the DLC yeah. yet. You did? Yeah. Damn. Too short. Just, yeah, I heard it was short. I haven't touched it yet. It's fun. It's yeah. just really short. How is you have to buy it, right? It's not yeah. like free DLC. Uh, yeah, well, I bought the season pass though. Yeah, I bought the season pass. Because there's like the first thing. There's three DLC packs mm-hmm. coming mm-hmm. out, and the season pass was like twenty bucks. Yeah, I'm so, sure it'll go on sale Cyber Monday. We'll probably, yeah. Hop on it, and then we'll pop on and uh, get some souls. Yeah, on. souls giving, man. Souls giving. Eat turkey. Well, you're how long are you out of town for? I'm gonna be back next Monday. So we're not. There's not gonna be a podcast. It'll maybe be me and you. You can record it. I don't know how this this I mean, I any works, in. but yeah, oh yeah, Skype yeah, in. We'll, You're gonna have your PC. Well, don't we'll, worry, listeners. We'll, there will yeah, be we'll, there'll a be a podcast. podcast. My audio quality won't be as good, probably. Well, we'll probably just yeah. won't put you in. No, yeah, yeah we won't put you, you can, in. You can we can record it together. Then just don't add my. Whatever audio he in. says, yeah. just ignore him right. on the next podcast. I try and do yeah. that. Anyway. And then well, yeah. you'll be able to do that when you just don't add it into the mix. Well, I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then we'll have to ignore you in conversation, so you think you're part of it, but you're really not. Well, that's not nearly as funny for the listener. No. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> Souls Giving. Souls Giving. Saw Fantastic Beasts. Don't want to talk too much about it. Coop hasn't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, uh, and it just came out. You don't want. And to spoil it was just. Ca- it just came out. Baby, baby new. Like a little. Baby new. Like a little baby Can't dragon. Not I think that there are. I think we should have like a one week at least. One yeah. or two weeks. Yeah, I one guess, or two. Unless we're talking about it. It was good. I liked it. Liked it a lot. Good acting. Yeah. Good acting. I, was, yeah, yeah. Good, I just uh, thought it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, there were people at work who had seen it like Thursday night, and then when they came in Friday. I just asked. They didn't want to know a lot of yeah, details. Yeah. I just said, oh, what would you think yeah, of yeah. it? Because I'm obviously really excited for it, like mm-hmm. Harry Potter. And they were saying it was good, but they, for them, they said it felt weird because like, he's not in it. Like, I'll Harry say that Potter's not in it. It doesn't bother like, me at all. It's not in Hogwarts. And, like, it's in, uh, and I was like, well, yeah, but you knew that going in. Yeah, it shows And that didn't New affect York, it at yeah. all. I was like, it's cool because it's it's still in the same world so yeah. it has that same feel mm-hmm. when they're like doing spells and yeah. battling yeah. Well, or whatever. they weren't even saying the names of the spells most of the time they're just like yeah. you was, uh, you know what they're doing it's like what their yeah. wands light up they didn't say lumos they just went well, mm-hmm. it's like a lohomoro like once or, or twice yeah, but yeah. like most of the time yeah they were just waving well, their wands that's, but i still mm-hmm. felt it was it felt like it belonged in that world yeah and that's that's lore friendly because they teach mm-hmm. them later on in school how to cast without saying the words. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's it, what I mean. Like these were these are older wizards doing older wizard things. Well, I think the fact that it was like same director David Yates, written yeah. by J.K. Rowling. Yeah, it's like it's gonna have that same feel. Yeah, and that's what's important. That's what about you want. It. No, yeah, if yeah. it was somebody, if like someone else had directed it and written it for, some, I don't mm-hmm. know how that happened, but if something like that happened, yeah, then maybe I'd be like, yeah, that did kind of feel a little weird. Like mm-hmm. there were familiar things, but it didn't quite fit. Like whereas this, I feel fits. With the other movies. Yeah, yeah. How good. are they advertising it? Like, the name? Is it Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts? No, no Beast? it's just Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Okay, yeah. and then, I don't understand why they'd be upset that Harry and Potter's I, not They weren't it. upset. No. They were just, like, <laughs> for some reason confused by it. And I was confused by their confusion. Yeah, because... I was I'm, like, it's not a Harry Potter yeah, it's movie. It's like, you I'm know they're out of books, right? Yeah. their confusion. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you know, did you not read the books, or did you just watch the movies? Like, how do you not but, know that there are, is no more Harry Potter? But they did say it was good. I guess they just maybe expected some type of connection... Which is weird because I don't know why like, it takes place in like the twenties. Harry Potter is like nineteen nineties. Harry Potter is like right, when the that's the time period is, when he exists. Is Fantastic Beasts the new book that came out? Also, it's an old book. They released well. What they did was they released a like the screenplay mm-hmm. that you can that you can buy and read. Um, the title Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is a book that they actually oh, have yeah. in Hogwarts. Yeah, but there was a new Harry Potter book released. No, recently. that was um, it wasn't written by J.K. Rowling, but it was. But she like helped write it. I think it was approved by. That her. was a uh, yeah. That's what it was. It was that was a play like a Broadway. It's a play. Okay. Play. Oh yeah, that was the uh, cursed child. The cursed child. Okay. Yeah, which is completely different. Yes. That's actually about Harry Potter. Well, obviously. Yeah. And that's actually a play. Yeah, but it's not. Like, a, well, I mean, it's not about Harry Potter. It's about his kid, right? Right. The yeah. Book, it He's was not the cursed child. James Potter. Or is it Dumbledore? What? What? No, no, Harry no. Potter's kid. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, what oh, are you I, I, was like, I don't want to ruin anything, but fucking people died, man. <laughs> James <laughs> did. Oh. He named one of his kids James. If you don't he? know yeah, that, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. But yeah, okay, I'd, 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 like, I'd recommend seeing it. Yeah. Especially if you like the other ones. Yeah. There's no reason not to. The story didn't quite feel as grounded to me as the other ones. Like, but. They I felt pretty was grounded good. in reality, the other ones? Yeah, the, the, they felt like they were like, they had their roots entrenched. And like, things were sort of like, you could follow it one to the next. But they were really jumping around a lot, which oh, okay. the nature of the movie. I running also, around after Beast, but. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I liked seeing it because it was like the first Harry Potter movie that 
I didn't know what was happening going into it. Yeah. That like, I had read yeah. the books when well, I saw yeah, the other movies. Yeah, yeah. So this, I was like, cool. I have, like, a general idea of what's mm-hmm. going on, but this will be fun. Well, that's the other thing. It's like they're throwing, like, a lot of information at you. It's like, hey, you, you got to know about the American schools. you got to know about, like, the American, like, Ministry of Wizards or whatever. They're, like, law agency. Like, if you don't know about it, you'll probably be okay. No, but, no, yeah, but if it's you're still like, a lot of information to be yeah. like, well, well, okay, they're in America. Oh, uh, okay, and they, they, they also have, like, wizard hunters who ho- hunt ro- rogue wizards, and then they have their own, like, magic laws. It's like, okay, this is, this is a lot of information to, like, and they're and they're throwing it at you real quick too. But I feel like so. they did okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I mean, you'd I, have I to fine. be okay because they don't go over that in any of the books. No, no. And uh, she only recently, like a couple months ago or whatever, released sort of like here's the information about the American schools and like all the other yeah. schools if around you, the world. If anyone goes on Pottermore, there's like tons of stories. They talk about every school in the world. Yeah, that's like a wizard school. Uh, yeah, um, and, get and your Patronus. So they talk the, about all that. The original trilogy, or the original book series, when it got to the Tri Wizard tournament, mm-hmm. actually, I thought for a while that there were only three schools. Like the way they they never mentioned any other schools in this. Yeah, and those were the three. Yeah, the movies, I'm guessing really those are just them. the European schools. Like yeah. the Tri Wizard is just for the like those because what Euro was Cup. it? Yeah, yeah, no, basically, there's, there's they're the big three. Yeah, they're in their own division. Yeah, all and the they're other, all in the same area. All the other schools suck. Yeah, well, maybe can't maybe compete. Not. I don't know. The American schools seem cool. American schools seem cool. Yeah, but they're not on the metric system. That's what's holding them back. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. They up. measure their wands in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dude, I forget his name now, who played Newt, the main character in Fantastic Beasts. It's like yeah. Red something, right? Am I making that up? Uh, I, I don't know. Dude, well, I want to see his other movies now because I haven't seen them. Mm-hmm. And I know that he's up for Oscars every yeah. time he acts in a movie. And he was really good in it. Yeah, so I was like, really oh, maybe I should check him out. He's in the movies. Are there any sports in it like do they play a game called quidditch that isn't quidditch no, no see this is like maybe this is what last is a little bit we were talking about i don't mm. know it's like it's different because the other ones are like showing what's the way to say it like the other ones in addition to showing like the story of harry it's introducing like the world yeah i guess of, that's true of yeah magic and everything to everyone where this is kind of assumed that you know a lot of things and yeah. it's just focusing on these specific characters trying to get all these beasts while he's in New York. Yeah. Whereas the other ones, I feel like they're, it's, they're, they're it's, yeah, it's it, slowly also because there's like tons of movies. It's not just the one they're teaching mm. you about the world of magic. Whereas this is, yeah. Not. Yeah. you you get to the school and you're just like, Harry, you don't know anything. And then you know, as he's learning, you're learning. Yeah. And then as your knowledge gap grows, it's like, okay, I, well, like, you can expect they're going to class and doing these things. And this new one, all bets are out the window. Mm-hmm. They like, got all kinds of magic shit that doesn't, it's just like, whoa, that fucking exists. Okay, sure. Yeah, well, I mean, like the st- like the movie is like only telling you like essential things, whereas mm. because he's in Harry Potter's in the school and the other yeah. movies, they're they're showing you, you like got the some sports like, they do, the classes yeah, they do, yeah. the, like little like flavor pieces. It's, like, it's more of like yeah, it. here's the rest of the world. They're and developing this, the yeah. whole thing so it feels really, you know, you're really immersed. Which, which in is it. kind of what I wanted to see, I guess, a little bit more of in this one is well, maybe like, you will, and yeah, and I'm hoping in the second one they'll flesh it out a little bit. That'll be Johnny Depp. I don't know if they're called yeah. if it's like the Fantastic Beast series. I just know that there will be more. I'm sure it'll Harry have Potter a completely spin-off different. It won't be Fantastic movies. Beast two. No. That seems weird. It'll probably be something like I, I don't even know. Yeah, Fantastic but I think Beast. It's and to I like found them. Focus on similar characters, and that yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say or too maybe much, it will. We'll have completely different characters. They could just be like one offs that all come well, together. At I an don't want to like say a lot, but I think that ones are supposed to focus on someone who was in this movie. Oh. So, oh. We'll see. Ooh, I hope Mr. So, Fantastic's still in it. How do you <laughs> yes. How do you guys feel about Johnny Depp? I uh, like don't want to say person, a lot. Or yeah, in just, in, just in general. I don't want to say a lot about him because... Uh, well, I'll, I will say, well, I won't say about like him in the movie, but yeah. like a lot of people's reaction to him being in the movie, they were pretty bummed. I thought it was fine. I was so excited when I But I didn't that. care. I was yeah. like, okay, yeah, he like... Because people are saying, I guess they're just... They don't like that he's like... A weird goofy yeah. guy now. I, was like, I mean, well, yeah, but who, who cares? Like, but also, we're in America. These are the American movies, and the other ones they, they went very British. Only British people could be in Harry Potter, the originals. Uh-huh. Now we're in America. American made, actors can be in it. They made a few exceptions. Well, it's not so much. Did that. they? Who? Uh, wasn't uh, Cedric Diggory an American actor? I th- I think he's I don't English. Think he is. I'm oh, pretty is sure he's English. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I thought they sure specifically the made it a point were from the UK to make it all yeah like European actors. Yeah, hmm. and in this one. It's 
all American actors except well, for like the I'm not fantastic saying, dude. Like, that specifically, like yeah, that does open up for more actors to be mm-hmm. in it. Um, but I was thinking, I was saying, like he like, Johnny Depp's a good actor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you don't like him because he's been stuck as like Jack Sparrow for the last yeah. like twenty years. I love Jack. And Sparrow. then like Lone Ranger, he was kind of playing like a similar character to, mm-hmm. to Jack Sparrow. It's like. Yeah, but he's a good actor. Like that dude can be like evil, and he can be yeah. funny. He yeah, can be good. Like, yeah. Good. I mean, the dude can kind of do a lot of things. He can be where, Hunter S. Yeah. Thompson if he wants to. So if he wants to be like, and Harry, whoever they yeah. develop him to be, I I have faith that he will be able to do that. He's kind of like a crazy dude. Yeah, I think he's he can fit in this world. And Harry Potter's had like other actors that are sort of like celebrity actors before, like the uh, the dude from Doctor Who was in it. Yeah. yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, yeah, that that guy's in this movie, I guess. He's one of those. And I don't know if that was, like, sort of like Johnny Depp being in this movie and that, like... No, I, hmm. I think what I'm, try- I'm trying to say is people, like, have a bad taste of Johnny Depp now. Oh, okay. And that's why they didn't like him being in this. Yeah. And I'm, I'm saying I disagree. Okay. Whereas I, Dr. I didn't Who, know if it was that just, dude, people like They him. love him, yeah. There's nothing wrong it's with just him. just that, yeah, okay. But now people have a bad taste for Johnny Depp for some reason because he's been kind of playing the same weird, goofy actor... He's so I guess always been thought- playing that, in my opinion. Like, look, Edward Scissorhands. Fucking, what is that? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. He's always been weird and goofy. Yeah, I know. So I, I think he's going to fit and he'll be fine. Yeah. it's he, he seems like a sort of like, I don't know, Lestrange type character. Yeah. So. Yeah, I didn't know people had a bad reaction to it. I read it and was like, fuck yeah. That oh, see, I feel sense. like a lot of people... No, you're probably right. I, was I just didn't see people it. People who were like, man, like they had a bad taste. I was like, why? Yeah, it was good. fine. It was fine. I thought he was like perfect for a Harry Potter movie. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. he would fit in great. Yeah. And when yeah, when you see him, his look, it's like yeah, he's he looks like weird, he's in the movie. He's such a weird eccentric yeah. dude. Yeah, not just in the movie, just Johnny Depp yeah, is just, like yeah, that's just the kind of guy he is. Mm-hmm. I think he's gonna be really cool. Yeah, I'm excited for the second one. I'm Fantastic bummed. Depp and Where to Find Him. That's right. I'm <laughs> bummed it's in America now because I would really like to see Michael Caine as a wizard. Michael Caine. I mean, he can still be in it. He could, yeah, because they're bringing other... It's just whatever country you're from, that's what the the actors are. If you're listening to this, J.K. Rowling, make that happen. Yeah, J.K. Rowling is listening. She's our fourth listener, our fifth listener. Being in America was cool. I guess I don't even care that... Because I was going to say I like the other ones because they were in London, but they weren't really. They were in Hogwarts. And I just liked them being in Hogwarts. They were a little bit. There was probably about 15 total minutes in London. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. They're flying through dying. Hogwarts was just cool, man. Hogwarts was cool. Yeah. And I would like to see like the American school. That would be dope. Yeah. Like what's it what's it look like? What's going on? What's up? What's yeah. going on here? It was started by Slytherins or something? Okay, that's weird. Come on, let's let's see it. Let's do it. Do yeah. you think they just they play like magic football? I, I don't know. Magic I don't know if they gathering. have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Americans just eat Cheetos and play magic the yeah. gathering. It's like this is your sport? Like, yeah, it's fucking easy. I don't want to do spell. What, what? I gotta fly around on board. Look, look, look. I use my wand to move the cards. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's magic. Well, I'm trying to think what the American version of Quidditch would be. Football. Yeah, it would yeah, still we just be. Run on the feet. It's called Quidditch, but it's football. Yeah, yeah. We just and, yeah instead of yeah, yeah instead they're of just throwing the ball around. Well, it's because I was trying to think of like we have baseball and then they have like cricket. No, oh, yeah. So I was yeah. saying like what's similar to like. But we have football and they have football. Yeah, I think it would be. It would just be football on brooms. Yeah, <laughs> tackling each other. Yeah, and knocking each other off with like spells and shit. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. You'd just be like a more aggressive Quidditch. Maybe. Or maybe you have less people too. Like the lines only like three people, but they're all casting spells. I feel at like each they other. have more. More? Yeah. More? How many people are on a soccer More? field per team? Too many. Well, no, we're talking about football. Yeah, there's. A, I think there's more players on a football field than on a soccer field. I'm just, well, yeah, sure. Oh, but I, I was just thinking that many people casting spells might get, like... Amazing? Too chaotic. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the logistics of this fantasy fake thing. <laughs> I think you're, like, you're just, you're making yourself unavailable for the possibilities. <laughs> I don't want things to You're get holding out of yourself hand back. in magical fake football coop. Your I don't imagination want things stay to stay grounded, hand. guys. You got to stay grounded. You got to be in reality where the magic exists. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty movie. excited to see it. We can talk about it more next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll we'll dive After into you've a little more. And you've seen all the movies. And you got to see that. You got to see Doctor Strange. I'm seeing the weirdest all thing. All the magic movies. I was gonna see Doctor Strange with my girlfriend. And then my mom texted me. She's like, "Hey, Doctor Strange looks really good. Will you come watch it with me when you come home for Thanksgiving?" I was like, "Yeah." So now you can't go. Well, you you should have gone anyway because I want to see it twice. I want to. I haven't yeah, seen I, it twice, but it was good. Yeah, Maybe I, I'll see it twice. I also, I also haven't seen it twice, but I thought the same thing. I was like, I'll that. go see that. But, but I didn't go see it because the arrival's out. I need to see that still. Oh, I need to see and that, And then yeah. Fantastic Beasts, of course, I was going to see that yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah. So it's like, 
I don't want to see Doctor Strange again if there's new movies. We got I some time seen. off. It's time to see these movies again. Some to see the new ones. Do you guys have this week ones? off? No, just no. Thursday and Friday. And okay. Friday, I don't want to go out because it's scary. It's going to be real scary. But don't, and like, Thursday, I'm not going to go out because it's Thanksgiving. This would have been myself. this would have been the weekend to go camping. This would have been the weekend to go camping. But I'm out of yeah. town. You guys should go camping without me. Yeah. yeah. No. Maybe. Fine. No. We got to find a time to play D and D again. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I really do want to go camping though. I would Skype in for D and D. But Skype in I for imagine yeah. I'll do that too. That's the best camping I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Skype in for camping. Yeah. It's like, hey, everybody, how's it going? You put like a stick with a marshmallow on it next to the computer. I press a button and like the disc tray ejects. Put the marshmallows in there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just like, just, shuts just, down. just push the disc tray in and out real quick. Yeah, yeah. Yum. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's sleeping. Aw. <laughs> so full. He's you tired. just close the computer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So how is you okay? <laughs> what was that? How is Pokemon treating you guys? It's slow. I, mm-hmm. I'm so used to emulators running it at like double and triple and like ten times speed that now I'm just like, holy fuck! Why? Why? Why is this, all this taking so long? But on the plus side, you've got things like EXP share that go to all your Pokemon, that not just one. Like a huge improvement. Yeah. So it's like I. So all my Pokemon are like about the same level. I've got the one that I use all the time. That's like three or four levels higher but it's like overall it's like i can actually use the, my other dudes in combat if i need to and like, uh, not just the one and hope like oh well they got a water so i guess i'm fucked yeah which is nice um but yeah and and the tutorial takes fucking forever they just keep trying to teach you things it's like dude man i wish there was a button to be like yo i've played a pokemon game and they go oh you seem like you know what you're doing and then just like pass all that shit through uh, your rival in this game, at least so far, unless you have another rival, like, you know, some have three or an extra rival, you, your rival picks the weakness to your type, which is like, okay, why No, why you guys want to contribute anything? You're, I haven't you're, played you're, it. You're, you you're both looking you? at me like, I, like, I'm, like no, I'm fucking I'm crazy. No, you're talking. I don't okay. want to interrupt you. Yeah, I was like, would you disagree? It's a, uh, I haven't played it. I'm. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm listening you're as well. You're both giving me crazy eyes. Anyway, you're talking, your, your you're rival, know I have a problem with my eyes. I know they're crazy. Uh, your rival picks the, the opposite of you, which I don't know why. It, it's, it seems weird that he would pick the weakness to your type. Normally, it's the other way around, See, so you have hard battles. You, you actually told me about this already. Yeah. I think something's going to happen later in the game, like some evolution type thing that you guys don't know about yet. No, no. That's going to make yours weak to it. It doesn't. It's going to be like some item he can give it that temporarily like reverses its type no, that does, for no reason. There. I think, I think it's going to happen. I think there's like a third person in the game, and I think they're just going to have the third Pokemon. But right now, that character is like, I don't like Pokemon battles. Pokemon don't need to fight. But later, it's going to be like, I'm going to fuck your shit. And then they're just going to wreck you. Does with this your character that girl? Yeah. No, no, no. She's going to have the that fucking real, the trash problem, dog. The dude that's going to be the problem is that... Blo- oh, yeah, have you even run into the dude with the blonde hair and earrings? No, I haven't seen him yet. That's just, definitely... Just have? your that's description. <laughs> that's the guy. That's the yeah. bad dude. Yeah, yeah. That dude's going to eventually... I've fought him a couple of times. He's been fine. But mm-hmm. he will come in late... Like, my guess, obviously. Yeah. He's going to come in later in the game and really ruin you. Does he have the uh, the third one? He has... No. He has a different thing. Oh, I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's, it says, pro- it's, it's one of those Ultra Beasts, probably. Probably. It says Null. Yeah, that's an Ultra Beast. What the hell okay, is see, an I don't Ultra know. Beast? It just says, I don't know. I haven't gotten I don't know either. Yeah. It just says Null, and it's like a weird four-legged uh, Pokemon, and it has like... A, it looks like it's in something. Like yeah. It has like a, a metal mask And it doesn't have any type. Something. Its type is like nothing. Is it an yeah. evolution type, or is it no. its own type? I don't know own. how these Ultra Beasts work. I just know they exist, yeah. but I don't know what they do. So it, can you catch it? As that, it's or his do you have Pokemon. to turn I haven't run into one. Into the only one I've ever seen. I know is you can't his. capture his. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, I. Have, I really. I wish I could tell you. I've seen the trailers of other like it. Ultra Beasts. They look like abominations. They look like it's like someone created a Pokemon. You just described half of the Pokemon in existence I, in the past okay, five yeah. years. Think about them though, and then think what those would look like if they were an abomination. Yeah, these ones definitely. Do this look one's more look. Twisted. It's like they mixed like a Snorlax and a Cthulian monster. It's like, what the fuck is that thing? Yeah, they're definitely they're they're a lot weirder than the other Pokemon. So yeah. is it a Snorlax though? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's know. just like it's, it's just like huge body. Like the one I saw was called like Gluttony, and it was called it was like Gluttony are Ultra adding, Beast number seven. They're adding DNA evolution. No, in fact, there is no ultimate evolution in this. No, there's DNA evolution. No, there's not DNA. I'm excited to see what happens with them because I don't know what they are, but yeah. that dude with n- null, that's yeah. probably what that is. Yeah. Um, I'm like, keeps moving. I think it'll be cool. He's just a very intimidating looking Pokemon because he has like some, it's like a metal mask or something. Yeah, and he's got like, he kind of a dog body. Evil. Yeah. 
And so does the dude. He's got blonde hair and earrings. Yeah, when I when Evil. I saw that Pokemon on the like trailer thing, I think they said it was typeless. So it has like no weaknesses and no advantages. Yeah. It, like you there's no way to hurt that thing. Yeah. That thing's gonna cause problems later. Oh yeah, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, it, but this po- this game is very much about like sort of the like natural world. Like the Pokemon are coming, you've got like totem Pokemon that come in, like you get saved by one at the very beginning of the game. And then the, now you've got these other like amalgam sort of like abomination Pokemon that are coming in. So I think it's this one's sort of like nature against like creating nature sort of is what they're going for as a theme. It's very political. Yeah. Pokemon black and white was all about like, should Pokemon fight or should they be set free? And I don't remember what X and Y was about. I never even finished that game. That was just Which about Pokemon like, was about that? Uh, white and black. They okay. were all there like, they were like, it was like Team Rocket and they're like, we want to set all Pokemon free. So we're going to steal your Pokemon and let them go. It's like, Wait, what? They're like the the animal rights group. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. They're like, Pokemon don't want to battle. They don't need to battle. Why are, why are we making them battle? Why are we making them do anything They don't sound us? like the bad guys in that. No, and they kind of weren't. They kind of weren't. So were they called Team Rocket still? Or were no, they, they, were, they were called... I don't remember. Do you remember what they were called, Dad? No. It was like, like Team don't. Plasma So they didn't something? end up being like evil at any point? It might have been Plasma. Might have been. I, mean, I can't remember. They weren't like torturing them later or something? No, no. They were just trying to set just, them free. Yeah. And But I mean, they were stealing people's Pokemon. So there's that. That's evil. Well, Animal if they're set them free, is it that evil? I know. I mean, if you love something, you got to set that, it free. That's a weird thing for them to put into the game without any... It was very strange. Yeah. And even like the, the like main bad dude like captured a legendary Pokemon because he's like, I need the power of this Pokemon to be able to set the other ones free. It's like, you got weird ideals, dude. But yeah, sure. That makes perfect sense yeah. to me. I don't know. I mean, it... It does. It's contradictory, but yeah. If he's like the, uh, what? What's the the thing where like you're by the law, but you're willing to do anything? Chaotic make, good. Chaotic. Yeah, that's chaotic yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's willing to do whatever it takes to get like do the right thing to force everybody else to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't care about doing the right thing as long as he can make everyone else do it. Well, no, he does care about doing the right well, thing. Well, eventually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once he's but, like gotten the seat of power then it's like yes go legendary Pokemon it's more important free. to him that he forces everybody else to do it than he himself abide by it right now yeah 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 i suppose i suppose i suppose mm-hmm. yeah i'm enjoying it though just because yeah. it's like it is slower and like the tutorial did take longer than i wanted yeah. but overall I, I don't play emulators so like the speed of the game as far as like running around that doesn't bother me it feels fine I just like it because it's like a little different. There's no gyms. Yeah, there's, there's no gyms. trials. And then there's no gym leaders. There's captains. So is there motorcycles involved in these trials? <laughs> no. It's not trials evolution. No. Ubisoft That's the next that game. Would, That's that not would the, be great, yeah. though. No. Uh, I just like it because, like, yeah, they switch things up a little bit. New switch Pokemon are up cool. Like, see, uh, quite a bit, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all for it. Like, I like the old ones, obviously, because I've Pokedex played, like, every single one. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon just seems like a game that I'll just, like, continually buy and yeah. play. Because they're so fun. Yeah. But Coop will never play. That's fine. Coop, Coop hates I will. You hate RPGs. I don't hate... Uh, you hate That's a RPG. whole other conversation. I hate the word RPG, but I don't like <laughs> turn-based games. No, no. I'm kind of bored of them now. Uh, what about like a... Have you played any of the... Uh, fuck, what are those? XCOMs. Yeah, uh, that's cool. I still do get aggravated by it sometimes when I'm like, can I just get back to my turn? I'm so yeah. tired of watching your turn right now. Would you rather just like speed through the enemy turns then or like what... You can do that, but it's still like you sitting there waiting while it's like jumping all over the place. It's like, can you literally just skip the enemy's turn and just be like, they did this much damage to you. Okay, moving on. Yeah, yeah I don't enjoy turn-based a whole lot. Like mm. Pokemon is fine just because like I really like Pokemon and I've been playing yeah, it since yeah. I was like a baby. Mm. Uh, so that's fine. But other turn-based games, I mean, Fire Emblem's good. Yeah. Um, but other than those, I, mean, tacti- I don't really tactical feel turn-based, like... That goes back to like sort of an XCOM sort of thing where it's yeah, like... Yeah, and it, I think the reason why I like Fire Emblem is because it's like on my DS and it's like a puzzle game kind of. I treat it like that. Yeah. Whereas like I'm not going to sit down at my computer and be like, okay, I want to play a turn-based game. Yeah. If I'm yeah. sitting down, I'm like, I want to play Overwatch or mm-hmm. something like quick and action-y. I don't want to yeah. Yeah. wait. Which is maybe why the new Final Fantasy... Not turn based. That's right. Not turn based. Oh, that's pretty right. cool. Yeah, that, it is looks that interesting. Out or is it coming out it's soon? It's coming. I don't know when. First episode, I think, is coming out. It's episodic. Oh, it's episodic. I oh, maybe right. I'm thinking of the remake of Final Fantasy yeah. VII. Yeah, which Final is Fantasy also VII, supposed to have a re. It's not turn based, and it is coming out in two parts. That's going to be interesting as yeah. well. It's got more of a like Kingdom Hearts, Devil May Cry. Is there a new Kingdom system. Hearts too? 
They, oh, they something released with, something, something recently. They right? are coming out with like a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are going to be going to get like a... 2.5 HD remake. No, 2.8. <laughs> talk about naming. Talk about yeah. naming bullshit. Yeah. Kingdom would, Hearts has the worst fucking name. We would need a whole podcast to discuss the Kingdom Hearts bullshit. Yeah, it's all over the place. I've never played those games, but I know you guys love them. They're good, but don't, don't, don't do it. You're going to be so disappointed. This new one is Final it's Fantasy been 15. 2008, I think, was the last one that came out. Well, the last main one. And they've just been pumping out the money makers. Yeah. They haven't released one for the main story. I thought yet. I heard there was supposed to be something with them. Oh, Maybe Final some, Fantasy yeah. 15, November 29th. Oh, that's pretty soon. Wow, yeah. That's really soon. It's next week. Next week. Well, Holy shit. Yeah, pretty much next Are you guys week. Gonna, I'm not going to get it. I'm, I don't. I haven't played a lot of them. So like, if you guys get them, I'll check them I, out. I and then depend. maybe I'll get it afterwards. But... Do you know anything about this one? Well, I watched, <laughs> I watched Conan play it. But is it connected? <laughs> I love those I know, videos. Yeah, uh, Elijah Woods in that video. You I love it even check more. Check it out. Yeah, his eyes are so blue. I know a lot of the <laughs> Final Fantasy games aren't necessarily directly connected to the none other of ones. them are, except for like the like X two or whatever they are. So or like Lightning wait, Returns. I'll wait and see if it, unless it's like because it might just be tons of cutscenes, like their games tend to be. Yeah, I think it is going to be like... And uh, if it's that, I'm not going to get on it. On Conan, they, they ran into this giant turtle, and they were like, oh, we want to fight this... Like, we haven't run into any combat yet. We want to fight this giant turtle. Because they were kind of skipping around, because they're like, this is boring, this takes a long time. Like you said, lots of cutscenes. Yeah. And so they got to this turtle, like, finally, we get to fight it, and then, like, the turtle just, like, went underground. They're like, okay, you, well, you can come back and fight the turtle. It's like, what? And so the guy came in to explain, and he's like, oh, the turtle actually takes... 72 hours to beat not game hours real time hours it's like wait 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 what that's a long time that's too much yeah they're like how does anyone play this game and conan's bitching about it and everything right. and then they open the door they're actually in the office where they made they're in Squinks's office and oh, he's really? just like oh man i didn't realize like everybody out there was listening to this live as we were doing it he's like i'm sorry why'd you make such a long game that's the thing and i think that's the problem with i've had with other ones that i've tried to play for final mm -hmm. fantasy like i think i played like final fantasy 7 yeah. Which is like a really popular one, obviously. Yeah, and I played a lot of that. It's the most popular. And I liked it. I thought it was really cool. I think I was also kind of younger, so like I don't remember like tons of it, but I remember liking it a lot. And then on the PS2, I tried to play 10, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And that one took forever to like just get started. Yeah. And I remember in the beginning, you're also like, you're like an athlete playing some weird sport game. Like you have like a ball and you're like in a big dome and you're swinging around or something. Oh, whoa. And I think I was, that was 10. Yeah, so I'm talking about. With I think Titus. It was, yeah. And I was like, I don't know, man. I just, I, I guess I just don't care. It's like a giant wave comes while you're in the arena. You're like in a big bubble yeah. in the middle and then people sit around you in the arena and watch you. And I was like, I, I just don't care. It looks yeah. like the sport and, they played in Batman Beyond. Yeah. And then <laughs> what you just said with the cutscenes is like, in addition to a lot of like, like a lot of cutscenes and then like the turn-based battle, mm -hmm. that game, like for me, just drags. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, I'm either in a cutscene, which obviously look really cool, and the stories are cool, yeah. but that's just not what I'm looking for in a game, I guess, most of the time. And obviously some people are. I'm not yeah. saying that they're bad games. I'm just saying maybe they're not for me. But if this new one has a better combat yeah. system, it might be worth checking out. I'll see it. I'll either watch you guys play it, or I'll just look up things online and then give it a go. I just want that Kingdom Hearts combat system. I love that Kingdom Hearts combat system. Is that what the new system. one has, or no? Supposedly. It's, or something similar like, to it. It's like a mixture of like, well, from what I watched, it looked a little more interactive. Mm -hmm. more well, like can you a, explain what the... Like a Devil May Cry combined well, with Kingdom Hearts. It's like, okay, you know on like any Final Fantasy game where it's like attack, defend, magic, or run, like those four buttons. Yeah. In Kingdom Hearts, you had those four buttons on the side, but when you hit him, he swung his weapon. Or when you went down to magic, it pulled up a magic list, and you picked your magic spell, and he did it immediately. But you're running around. But you're in, real in time. active combat while that's happening. So you can dodge. So you're like, yeah, everything. you're you've got one, you've got your like analog, your up, down, left, right, pressing those buttons to try to select the right thing, and then you're pressing X to like, so it's okay, I need to do, yeah, yeah, here comes a spell. The, it's the like menus, switch back, switch back. The menus got better in Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah, there were, like there was just like a pull up menu where you could just select it real fast. Yeah. and you also had like hot bar spell. Like, didn't you have something that was like your favorite spells were yeah. in a certain list too? Mm -hmm. So it's like if I always use ice, I just like have you, that. There, real quick. Yeah, there was yeah. a button where you you held down L one and your four main buttons became your favorite spell. Well, buttons. that sounds cool. Maybe I will check out the new Final Fantasy fifteen. I saw posters yeah. for it around. On the city. Yeah. yeah. Which oh, I thought yeah. was cool. And you could set up, like, because you had Donald and Goofy or whoever, you, you could choose different followers to be in the combat with you. And not only could you set up beforehand how you wanted them to fight, like, you could tell 
Donald, he's the healer, you'd be like, heal every chance you get. Or you yeah. could be like, only heal when we get low on health, otherwise attack the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah. But then even in combat, you could tell them, like, attack this enemy, focus on this enemy. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah, well, another just another big game coming out right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's that time of the year again. Yeah. It's still that time of it's the year. It's cool. Like, I feel like Final Fantasy, like, when I hear about them, I'm always really excited. It's just mm-hmm. like the gameplay is just not what I yeah. want, I guess. I really, so maybe yeah. this one will be the one. This I really like Kingdom one. Hearts. I really liked Final Fantasy three. Both of those games let you sort of like choose what you wanted to do with everything, like yeah. how you wanted to build yourself. So hopefully this one's along those same lines where it's like you're not just like some of the Final Fantasy games. You start off and your main character is like, oh, I'm a paladin. And that that's my class. And when I level up, I don't get to choose anything. I'm just I'm just leveling up a paladin. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts kind of had a roundabout way of doing it. Yeah, but <laughs> your, you still your build was based on do you value friendship or not? That was like one of the biggest <laughs> things. Yeah. But so, I mean, you still like spec your keyblade yeah, you for do. like magic damage or for like whatever you want to, or like just, bonus hits, there's combo this hits. Weird series of questions they ask you in a dream sequence at the beginning of the game, and. After you've played the game before, you learn what each of the answers does. Yeah. But they do drastically affect your character's stats. Well, they also, in the first game... Oh, it also selected the hard mode. Yeah, it selected the difficulty based on what you picked. That's kind of It's like, what's your favorite time of day? And it's like, uh, I don't know, morning? And it's like, that's the easiest game mode. And it's like... I like fucking night. And it's like, yeah, you're going to get fucked. It's really? Like, oh, but, shit. Yeah. That but seems that was, kind of crazy. That, and they wouldn't tell you also, that. They wouldn't right, say, like, you I mean. picked hard mode. There was also a, there were two difficulties you could also pick before you went in, and then you could make it even harder by answering those questions differently. Yeah. Because wow. there was easy and normal, and then after you beat the game, you could play in proud mode. Yeah. Where that was, seems yeah. crazy, because... Yeah, what if you just happen to like... You wouldn't know. Nighttime, no. and you don't want to play on a hard difficulty, though. They don't... They, well, you wouldn't even know you're playing on the hard difficulty. You'd just be like... Damn, this, this game hard. is hard, yeah. And well, then, then somebody else would be like, ah, this game is... No, what are you talking about? This game is easy. And it's like, well, well, you're playing two different games. It, it wasn't the hardest game. Dinner, but it wasn't the hardest game in the world. Even on hard yeah. mode or proud mode, it's really, like... Yeah. The only parts you would really get stuck on are like some of the final bosses. The bosses, yeah. And then like Sephiroth. And even the, but those bosses, like you just play them over and over and over until you yeah. get to them. And they always had save points right before, so it was like never a big deal. You knew when you were going into a yeah, boss fight yeah. most of the time. It was As never most a big games deal. do. Yeah, and you were always adequately prepared. You like, just had to figure out the gimmick. The Sephiroth fight boss had a lot of like, gimmicks that you had to figure out. Find some rocket out. launchers yeah. right before it. Shoot their face off. Yeah. The most fun in a game I've ever had is fighting Sephiroth, though, in Kingdom Hearts. It was intense trying to figure out his patterns. You, you've got to like, you've got to use certain spells at certain times. Like, you start off, and if you don't have yourself, was it shield or something you had to use on yourself? You had to use, like, protect on yourself and your no, team? No, you had to have a, like, full revive ready to pop, because... You had to interrupt his attack. If you didn't, you had to use a full revive immediately. Yeah, because you're in, he just does it's one... It's like Soul Harvest. Yeah, he does one attack that kills your entire team in one hit. Wow. And if you're not prepared for it, you just you, die. Your team doesn't come into that fight. It's just you. Oh, yeah, it is just you and in it, that fight. And it drops you down to, I think it's literally one HP left. Yeah. And if you don't hit him to interrupt it, and you have to, I think you have to hit him like five or six times to interrupt it. Yeah, while he's like... And if you don't yeah. interrupt it, you better, you gotta be... So you immediately have to make a choice when you see him casting it. Fuck, am I close enough? Get him. Am I not? Run to the other side of the arena, wait for him to cast it, and immediately pop a revive. Yeah. Or a mm-hmm. full revive, yeah. So that you have enough health. Yeah, because it brought you down to one, and then his next hit would kill you. And then you also had to do stuff like uh, pop, like, stop time, your slowing time spell for one of his moves, didn't you? Wasn't there something like that? You could, but I never did. It was You're talking about the one with the meteors flew around? Yeah, there was, yeah, there was you something could that, that you could do. It, but yeah, yeah. You could just pay attention when he casts it and just know, do I need to be on the outside of the arena or inside? I remember having to cast protect for something, too. Like, you could give yourself an extra life for to have, stuff, like, a protect yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, great, great fucking game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they did that in Kingdom Hearts 2 with, like, the clock boss. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, where you, like, had to stop time to beat it. The clock boss was so fast yeah, that you couldn't uh, do anything to it until you cast that. And every time, for every second that spell wasn't cast, you had a, the clock was counting down behind you. You had you like lost. 10 seconds to beat the boss. You lose immediately once the timer ran out. And wow. so, yeah, you had to slow down time, and then you, that extended it by like times 10. But then you've got to manage your magic because you're having to constantly cast slow time. Wow. And manage like, oh shit, slow time's about to run out. I need to start casting now, but I got to get away from the boss. He's trying to kill me. It's like, oh man, such, see those, such, yeah, those kind of like gimmicky or setup things. Th- that's cool to me. Yeah. And there weren't too many of them, but the really hard bosses had them. I don't like the gimmicks where it's like, or like Dark Souls kind of has some gimmicks sometimes, which are fine. Yeah, 
they don't have to do, they don't I don't feel like they have a lot but yeah. they have some but like uh, like Metal Gear Solid their gimmicks I don't like where it's like oh plug gimmicks. your controller into the player 2 slot oh see I really like that no, stuff that's garbage or like in the there's <laughs> one where like you need a code for something and that code is like on the back of the PS2 game case or whatever it's like yeah. No, this game is garbage. See, I like, though, that it is breaking the normal game. It's like, I don't want it, the game to always exist in a game. I want it to kind of, like, break the rules when it can. No. Yeah, I'm perfectly all right with that. No. Did you guys know, where are you? was that in the original? Or, like, mm. the PlayStation 1 Metal Gear Solid? Or is that one of the sequels? It was sequels? in, like, one or two. It, it, I don't know. It I, was, I, don't I think, think that it was in, the second one. Yeah, I don't think that was in one, because I played that one a lot. But the but, final boss, you had to plug your controller in the second player slot. That's so and weird. I'm, that's stupid to me. That game always that's had weird stuff. That's not a game. Stuff. Did you know that, I think it was two years ago, somebody finally found the last Easter egg in the first game? Really? It's, uh, there's that part where you, you remember where you had to, like, pop the ketchup so you could sneak out of prison, they would think you were dead. Yes, come yes, to check yes, on yes. You? The kitchen you go through after you leave that prison cell, there's some pans hanging up, and... They actually, so, you know, you shoot them, they make the ting sound. Yeah. They actually each play a different note, <laughs> and you can play the theme song if you shoot them. That's cool. And then it will just start playing the theme song. That's, that's cool. That's Easter great. eggs are great. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know. He's The dude was reading your mind, but it's only reading the, he's actually reading the controller. Sl- I like those, like, sort of meta things going See, on. I wish bad. more games would do that. I don't know how they would do that in this current, like, age, but. You can't, because something with the, like, you needed a code for something, and it was in the back yeah. of the case. Someone I was talking to not too long ago, they bought it like digitally, like they released it yeah, digitally remastered for like the new consoles. And someone bought it, and it took them forever to like do it to like because they didn't know that trick. And they're like, I can't find this code anywhere in the game. And they eventually just Googled it, yeah. and it was like, oh, it's in the back of the case. And he's like, well, great, I bought it digitally. Yeah. So then he had to like just look up the code online. Is it's it like, the cool, same this code a- for every copy of the game? Yeah, I, I probably. Think so. yeah. yeah, that would have been weird. They wouldn't have been. I think so. That. Yeah. So, so it's, it's like, like I don't know. That's but that's I mean, go if you. I mean, you're playing a remastered version. They should have changed that for the remastered. Or version. It, well, they should change it for the remastered. Also, even back then, I just don't think that's a cool gimmick. Yeah, if you lost your game case, or if you stole the game from Best Buy. <laughs> well, yeah. if you or, stole it, then you shouldn't. I mean, like, then you should, should be punished. But <laughs> but back in those days, that's when everybody was trading information too. It's like you go to school and everybody's playing the same game, and it's like, oh fuck, I don't know what this code is. I'm mean, looking everywhere because you don't have the internet. You can't look this yeah. stuff up really. It's like dial up was so slow. But that's assuming you have friends. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. But I mean, now in this current age, it's like uh, I can't. I feel like if you can't find that code and you've been playing for more than five minutes, it's like I'm looking it up. I do remember the days of having like cheat CC opened on the computer. <laughs> yeah. In oh, yeah. like the dining room where we had our kitchen or where we had our computer set up, mm-hmm. not our kitchen. And my room was on the other side of the house. So I'd be like playing a game. Like I'm, I don't know what to do here. So I would have to go and leave the game open, run across the room house, like find whatever I was looking for, try and memorize it. Yeah. I would forget it halfway back, have to get a piece of paper, come back and write it down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I wrote down so much stuff. And I then printed somebody, off so many things. Somebody calls and ruins the it. Code, for some reason, the screen goes away <laughs> and I have to wait for mom to get off the computer. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Yeah. But those were good days too. They were because one, one of our friends actually taught me how to do a bunch of stuff in Fable just by word of mouth, like how to get the demon bow by oh, sacrificing yeah, yeah. somebody Yeah, I at did midnight. really enjoy... That I was remember doing cool. that a lot with, like, Shia Colossus was one. Like, I remember specifically for some reason, like, going to school and then, like, at lunchtime, like, talking about it with all my friends who were playing it. And it was like, mm-hmm. man, I don't remember. I, I can't... There's, like, this one, and you're, like, in the sand, and you yeah. have to ride your horse. And, like, I don't know, where do you shoot his weakness or whatever? Yeah. And then someone's like, oh, you have to wait for his eye to open and then shoot his eye. And that's what like, I feel like Metal discussing Solid. Discussing with, like, your friends was cool. But that's what I'm saying. There's a difference between a gimmick and a game where it's, like, there's a certain point and there's, like a weakness and blah, 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 yeah. compared to, oh, yeah, you need to, like, leave your controller on for three hours. It's like something See, like that. That's what made like Metal Gear Solid, like, special to me is that it did these, like, weird things. I guess. I, where, I think it's... Where it's like you're stuck stupid. and you go to school and it's like, fuck, I, I can't beat this guy. He just is reading my mind. He does he knows everything I'm doing. It's like, you got to plug the controller to the second slot. It's like, wait, what? That sounds stupid. That's See, ridiculous. And then you cool. do it and you're like, holy shit, he's reading the controller slot. It been he's reading my memory gimmick. card. You got to take out the memory card. He doesn't know who I am anymore. It would have been a cooler so gimmick. Could if you he was plug like, in two controllers and make him like mess up by I trying to do whatever the first controller is? Maybe. Don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I thought you had that game. I thought you showed me I've that. I've never played Metal Gear Solid 2. Really? I could have sworn I was at your house and you showed me that, that you had to plug it's, the controller into the second it's probably, slot. Probably Preston. 
Preston played those. A I lot. didn't go over to his house very much. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. the only I played the shit out of the first one. I never played the second one or the, any of them after that. Yeah. Well, maybe it was the first one I saw. I thought that it had that boss in the first one. Maybe it did. I don't remember that boss. Though. It might have been the first. I can't remember. I just think that thing. It's yeah. Not. not I'm not for me. They, those have always been goofy games, and I kind of appreciate that there is a game that does that sort of stuff. It's like there aren't too many games that sort of deal with the fact that they are games and use like everything they can as a tool. Like, you I guess see I that just, a lot. Undertale did it a little bit. I know you guys didn't play it much, but I'm gonna try and play it. Again. I, I I mean, it was fun, but I didn't think it was like the greatest game of all time. It, it's on my list of like yeah. one of the best games I've ever I'm played. Currently which playing is Life is fine, Strange, I guess, but I which is I mean, you both not not like in turn based. This is like turn based. Yeah. I'm well, it's not just that. It was just like, it was boring. Like I remember because something ah, that like just you told me super like, surprising to me. You were like, oh, it switches up constantly. Like, anytime yeah. you figure something out, it, it switches wasn't it up. That different. It, it doesn't didn't... change. I played I think almost the whole game, and I never felt like it had changed. I was like, okay, I see an enemy, and then I figure out what they want, and then yeah. I say that thing to them, and they go okay, and they go away. Well, I mean, just and the, the story, like the routes that it was going. Happens. It wasn't about the combat at all. It was just oh yeah, sure. But you it made out you those. fight so many things. But you fight constantly. You can't say it's not about the combat when ninety percent of the game is in combat. Like it was fun. Yeah. But I, I, what everyone was saying was just yeah. I just, in my opinion, not right. The the story of it was where I was like fucking hooked, and no matter what I did, like the sort of like out of combat experiences running around and like talking to people it's like they never really said the same thing twice things were always like it was like wow there's like a lot of detail put into this and to make this like sort of different every time you go through it or whatever you do with it yeah see i want to i want to dive into it a little more and the, the deeper you get boring. in the more you see that it's it is a game that is like aware it's a game and makes use of that which is interesting because you don't see that a lot yeah but yeah and you're playing life is strange I'm now for the game time like, do you know what Life is Strange is? I've heard of it. Yeah, I know Az has talked about it a lot. It's I like that game a lot too. <sighs> I mean, do we want to get into it now? Or well, we can talk wanna... about it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it's sad you're not going to play it yet. I don't know. You can play it. Feel free to talk. Feel, okay. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll talk. I'll well, no, play I'm not going to spoil saying, anything. But free. I don't know because we were going to talk about it on a podcast. Yeah. But for like a game time. But yeah. yeah who knows but, how long um, that'll be? Maybe two weeks. And now. I may not finish it. I don't know. But I bet you won't. I, Twenty bucks says you will not finish this game. I well, put twelve hours it into it. It's basically I played through the Walking Dead game, mm -hmm. and I it was kind of cool, but it was so frustrating how slow it was and how. Like, you had to do so much shit that didn't matter because, like, they wanted to, like, make you experience the world. But I was like, your world's boring. Fuck <laughs> off. Let me get to the point. This yeah. game does the same thing. Yeah. Well, this world's even more boring because you're, it's not a zombie apocalypse. No. You are a high school girl or maybe okay. a college girl. I, okay. I didn't, know, I didn't know what this game yeah, was yeah. about. I just thought it was, like, some... I thought it was, like, Gilmore Girls, the video game. <laughs> Until My about, favorite video game. about 15 minutes in, you realize this girl can control time. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I'm like, oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. But then it makes you replay that first fucking 15 minutes of the game because she rewinds everything you've done, but it doesn't let you skip anything. So you have to sit through the same thing again. And I was so pissed. I was like, because <laughs> I did the rewind, and I was like, I was falling asleep when I got to this. And yeah. then something kind of cool happened. She figured out she can control time. And I was like, okay, I'm awake. I'm ready for this. Yeah, you got my attention now. Now she's sitting in class again. I'm like... Okay, I'm going to be able to skip this and just answer all the questions for it. Nope. 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 Sit through the entire fucking lecture again. Oh, you need to remember what you did last time and do it again. And the <laughs> menu is so clunky. Mm -hmm. Everything is so bad. Yeah. I knew this game would piss you off, which is why I picked it for Game Club. I'm still I'm, I'm going through it. And interesting things are happening. It's just the problem I have with these games is they're so bad at pacing. It's like, slow. It's skip, very slow. Like half of it, I don't even need to be playing. Yeah. It's like I don't need like that first fifteen minutes of the game could have been a cutscene. Yeah. There was no reason for me to be. And playing I think a lot it. of this may be a problem too with just like episodic because they're like, well, we need to make this game last like two or three hours, and it's like, no, you don't need to make this episode no. last like two or three hours. You can make this episode be twenty minutes if you know what you're doing. It's like that first fifteen minutes of the game could have been a two to three minute cutscene. Yeah. And then it's like, make your decision. Yeah. Okay, now watch the next two to three minutes. But would you okay. have felt good paying for that, like a 20-minute game or like a... We've talked about this. I'm perfectly fine with paying for shorter experiences that are more fun. Yeah. They're padding it out to add more time to it isn't adding fun to no, it. No, no, that's, that's true. 
So it's kind of a cool story so far. I'm enjoying the story. I'm yeah. hating the gameplay so much. Well, there's not a lot of gameplay to it. It's mostly story. No, so. but I've always been about, like, I always wanted these games where you just make decisions. Mm -hmm. But I want it to be more decisions and less of the exposition between. Yeah. Okay. I it's like, let me make my decision, see the consequences, yeah. a little bit of story, mm -hmm. another decision. Not, it, that first one you make, it's like I probably played for two to three hours. Yeah. Made a total of five decisions i think yeah that's it yeah there aren't that many like key decisions but it is nice that you can like rewind time and go like what would have happened if i go the other way yeah. you know you don't really know like the full consequences of it but you can go like maybe i didn't want to do that it's not like walking dead where it's like oh well i didn't want to make this happen this way it's like if you fail you just rewind and then it's like okay now i made yeah. it happen the way it I is want. interesting because i know a lot of people who play those and that's exactly what they do yeah they make a decision realize like oh wait i don't want that to happen they just reset to their last save point. Where this game, that's the mechanic. Yeah, that's the yeah. It's you like, can literally mm -hmm. decide. Okay, I don't want to do that. I want to do the other one. Yeah, and in some cases, like you can carry items through you with but time. So it's, it's still, like you go back in time. It's like, oh, I still have the keys that I stole or whatever. But it only gives you like a like another minute or so after you've made the decision to like see how people react. You don't get to see the long term right. effects. But it is enough to be like, wait, I definitely shouldn't have done that. Right. So. Or if you think that one option is going to go one way and it doesn't like sort of like the dialogue options are like oh no i thought this was gonna go i thought people were gonna be happy that i said like whatever whatever but they were mad it's like i didn't want to do that go so you pull it back yeah happy yeah i've had that happen a couple times where their reaction was not what i expected yeah yeah right. and so that's good it's a nice little like because i did thing. make some decisions in it that weren't good for my character yeah but I wanted that to happen to see what plays out because of it. Yeah, I, when I was playing through it, I would normally do like the available options to, just to see, and then I picked the one that I wanted. I only did that twice. Out of, out of all five decisions, I only did that twice. <laughs> yeah. The first episode is kind of rough, but... Yeah. I, I think if they, they could make another one and speed it up and take sort of the mechanics of this one... And make like a really good sort of like branching game, but I doubt they ever will. It was made by Square Enix, so I noticed. Yeah, <laughs> it, there's long no lack of logos yeah, popping up. <laughs> yeah, and it's a long fucking game. Yeah, but it doesn't have their so signature. Sort I'm gonna of. try and finish it, but it has the same problem that all these games I've played have yeah. had. Yeah, well, uh, it's got twists and turns. We'll see. Uh, you guys want to call it? I don't know. You, yeah, yeah. Any more topics? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have any we more talked topics. About, uh, I only really yeah. had Fantastic Beasts and Pokemon to talk about. That's yeah, all I've done all so, week. Yeah, and I've been just playing more Skyrim. So. As always. Did he good new Skyrim mods out? There's so many Skyrim mods, man. Any specific ones you want to mention? Uh, Boobies XL3. Okay, we can yeah. turn it off now. <laughs> all right, guys, this has been the Good Alchemy Podcast. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.